Huh? Why do men have an Adam's apple but women don't? Adam's apple is basically a protruding chunk of thyroid cartilage that surrounds our larynx or a voice box. It is more prominent in men because huh? during puberty the larynx tends to grow more in males than it does in females. As a result, in men it causes the cartilage to project outwards, thus creating an Adam's apple. Some researchers believe that a larger Adam's apple may also play a role in deepening our voice. Hmm. How does a cough happen? When anything irritates our breathing passage, our brain activates the cough response. First of all, we gasp in a large volume of air into our lungs. Next, our epiglottis closes, thus closing off the windpipe. Then our rib muscles begin to contract, thus putting pressure on the lungs. But as the windpipe is closed, the air can't move out, so more pressure builds up. Finally, the epiglottis opens and air forcefully rushes out, carrying the irritant and thus producing a cough. Hmm. Do blind people really dream? Nobody can dream. Only Chum Pum can dream. Oh, Chum Pum. If a blind person lost his vision in the later stage of his life, then his brain would use visual information stored in his memories to create dreams. Now, if a blind person is blind since birth, then his brain has never received any visual information. So instead, his dreams would get their content from memories of sound, smell, touch, etc., which he perceives in his everyday life. But in one science experiment, people who were blind since birth were able to draw their dreams. Hmm. Why do humans have a belly button? Simple. To do belly dance. Oh, chum pum! When a baby is growing inside a mother's womb, it is not possible for the baby to eat food like us. The umbilical cord carries nutrients from the mother to the baby. Also, it takes away the waste which the baby does not need anymore. Now, when the baby is born, it does not need the umbilical cord anymore. Hence, the doctor cuts the umbilical cord, leaving behind a tiny stump. This stump falls off after a few weeks. This is how we get our belly button. Mm. What if aliens became thieves? Don't worry. Um Sum will deal with them. Huh? Oh, Um Sum. Firstly, if huh? aliens became thieves, some people may actually start taking selfie with the thieves. Hmm. Huh? Secondly, if aliens became thieves, some people may actually start giving all their money to the thieves. Hmm. Thirdly, if aliens became thieves, cops may stand no chance of catching the thieves. Huh? Hmm. Lastly, if aliens became thieves, aliens' pets may also start accompanying them in the robbery. Hmm. How do mirrors work? They don't work. Chum Pum makes them work. Oh, Chum Pum. Firstly, visible light or sunlight is made up of seven different colors. Hmm. A mirror consists of a glass surface in the front, and behind it is an extremely smooth and thin metal film. Now, when light falls on the mirror, it passes through the glass surface and reaches the metal film. The metal film does not absorb any colors of light. Instead, it reflects back all of them. As a result, we can see ourselves in the mirror. Hmm. <laughs> Big announcement! Big announcement! Oh my! Did I just win a Nobel Prize? No ways! You did not win a Nobel Prize! <laughs> Earth now has more than 100 moons! More than any other planet! Come on! How did this happen? Absolutely no ways! He only had one last night! I thought I was his only moon! <laughs> oh my! What exactly is that? <laughs> Guys, we are all being fooled! How exactly did he figure it out? See, these are not real moons. They are just holograms. Bye bye forever Earth! Why are some people claustrophobic? Claustrophobia is an anxiety disorder. It is an intense fear of confined or enclosed spaces. Symptoms of claustrophobia may include shortness of breath, faster heartbeat, sweating, etc. Hmm. 
Some researchers believe that a defect in one of our genes may be the cause of our claustrophobia. Hmm. It is also believed that if one of our parents has claustrophobia, huh? then we are more likely to have it. Hmm. Finally, it is also believed that our fear of enclosed spaces may be stemming from a traumatic childhood event like being stuck in an elevator. Hmm. What exactly huh? is cholesterol? I think, I think it is probably an alien. Oh, chumpum! Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance. It is present in all the cells of our body. Cholesterol helps in building cells, vitamins, as well as hormones. Our liver makes all the cholesterol needed by us. But sometimes, our eating habits can force our liver to make more cholesterol than necessary. As a result, there is too much cholesterol in our blood. It combines with other substances and forms a thick, hard deposit on the inside of our arteries. As a result, our arteries become narrow, increasing the risk of heart disease or stroke. Hmm. Can zebras be domesticated? Impossible. You see what they did to me? Ooh. Oh, chum pum. Firstly, zebras are known to have one of the strongest kicks in the animal kingdom. Secondly, zebras are known to have an extremely powerful bite. Thirdly, as compared to horses, it is extremely difficult to capture a zebra using a lasso, as zebras have a very efficient built-in ducking reflex. Hmm. Lastly, horses have a strong family structure. If the head of the family is captured, then the rest of the family follows him. The same is not the case with a zebra. Hmm. <laughs> huh? What is the science behind blood rain? Firstly, around Sahara Desert, brownish dust and sand carried away by storms mixes with water droplets in the clouds, thus giving the rain its brownish red color. Hmm. Secondly, in Kerala, red spores of Trentipolelia annulata algae get carried away by winds and mix with the falling water droplets, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. Lastly, in Zamora, Hematococcus pluvialis algae actually get caught in the rain clouds. As a result, they get stressed and produce a red pigment called astaxanthin, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. How does a cough happen? When anything irritates our breathing passage, our brain activates the cough response. First of all, we gasp in a large volume of air into our lungs. Next, our epiglottis closes, thus closing off the windpipe. Then our rib muscles begin to contract, thus putting pressure on the lungs. But as the windpipe is closed, the air can't move out, so more pressure builds up. Finally, the epiglottis opens and air forcefully rushes out, carrying the irritant and thus producing a cough. Hmm. 